Hey guys, what's good? Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk about this Lakers and Warriors game. Uh, I tried to get this video out yesterday. Man, my day was so busy. I didn't even have a chance to um, to watch the game live. I was recording it. And I was going to get home later and watch it. I saw the score and I was like, what? And got home later that night. I, I, watched, I was able to watch it like around 11.30 at night. And then finished a little bit in this morning. Uh, I fell asleep, but busy day. Anyway, let's talk about this game for a second. We we all know it's a fluke, you know. Championship teams sometimes lose to our type of teams um, because you know they're not up and ready for them. And then our teams playing, you know, the 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 lower echelon teams are are playing up to par and their adrenaline is rushing, and so. These type of games happen. It, it, it happened to the Lakers a lot when the Lakers were winning championships and we would lose to sorry teams. It happens every blue moon. It happened to the Spurs. It happens to Golden State, obviously. And so it happens, right? This stuff happens in the NBA. So what happens? Um, you know, Curry, Clay were missing everything the first three quarters. What, one for 16, something like that. The shots that they normally take <clears throat> that are normally unhuman like and they make 58% of them they were missing all of them right that's one two our team was playing really good defense and playing really active and really up for the challenge right D'Angelo balling hitting those three three threes in the first uh first half ball in first half Clarkson really active I mean balling I'm glad that he's came back off his injury and he's playing well and I like the fact that Hubie Brown, who is a really respected analyst, was giving him love throughout the entire game because I think Clarkson deserves it, you know, on a national level because how well and consistent he's been playing since last year, since he was a rookie. And so I like that about Jordan Clarkson. D'Angelo played well. He's now in that level where we expect him to get 20 points, you know, 17 15 in the first half, that's kind of like not unheard of now for him, right? And he's he's doing his ice in the veins thing when he hits threes, and he's, he's kind of like, he's there, right? But the surprise of the game to me was not only our team was really, really active, but the way Marcelo Huertas was running our team. To me, that was the biggest surprise and eye-opener for me now granted i'm not dumb i understand we drafted marcelo for that reason we know that he was that type of player for brazil for a long time for 10 years or so and we drafted him for that reason but throughout the season marcelo was constantly getting outplayed here and there and some of his passes weren't and some of his plays weren't really being we weren't following through on them, right? We weren't playing up to par to what would make him shine. When he has a bunch of athletes around him, like we were playing yesterday, we were playing like a playoff team yesterday. And so when we have, when, when Marcelo has athletes around him, you could see how well he runs a team. His poise, his passes, he runs a team better than D'Angelo Russell right now. He runs a team better than Jordan Clarkson right now. He runs the, the floor. He runs a team better than Kobe Bryant right now in terms of handling the ball and getting players in position. When he has, on the, when he has the ball in his hand and D'Angelo Russell's playing shooting guard, that is, we're looking really good. And I give Byron Scott credit that he was rotating Clarkson and D'Angelo out and leaving Marcelo in because how well he was playing. And as much as I've been getting on Marcelo and I'm like, he doesn't belong in the lead. Yeah, I need to, I guess I need to uh, chill on, on, <laughs> on, on being kind of rude to players in a sense, because I know, I understand NBA players, they're better than a billion other people, right? They're better than me and everyone else that plays basketball, whoever. And so, yeah, we understand Marcelo. I always say, like, Marcelo doesn't belong in the league. We always say Ryan Kelly doesn't belong in the league. Anthony Brown, stuff like that. But listen, Marcelo, I knew he had a little bit more talent than, you know, Anthony Brown and those other guys who I always get on. But he shouldn't be compared, 
I should never compare Marcelo Huertas to like Anthony Browns and the Ryan Kellys and stuff like that. Marcelo's on another level in a sense of his little group that guys who we don't really expect to, to get off. Over the last several games, he's been playing so well and so poised and where you got Kobe going, looking at him like, dude, those passes were on point. I mean, he's getting guys in position, running that offense, where he had the Warriors, like, not sure what they were going to do. The Warriors were, like, looking for the pass, and Marcelo was hitting the layup drive. They are going to defend him. He dishes off to Bass. Again, they're looking for the pass. He makes a little, you know, little jump shot or a little, little runner. Next time they go to defend, he lobs it to a, a cutting Larry Nance Jr. I mean... Marcelo, I think he had, what, um, 10 points, 9 assists? I don't know the exact stat. D'Lo had, uh, what, 21, I believe, or 20. You know, Clarkson had 25. Really efficient from the three. But my biggest surprise was Marcelo. And it wasn't surprise. I, I, we all know that that's why the Lakers drafted him. Because if he had, and he showed that very early on, like in the preseason and stuff. You know, we were all, like, excited. But... He would constantly get outplayed on defensive end um, throughout the year. And also, when our players weren't playing up to par, he doesn't have athletes around him. His passes don't really go so well. And his little antics, you know, his little, you know, not sure what to do on defense sometimes. But he was he was a big reason, last, yesterday's game, why we beat the Warriors. As sorry as the Warriors were playing in terms of, like, their shooting... Marcelo's ability to run our team, I'm going to give him credit for that win. He gets the game ball, in my opinion. D'Lo, balled out. Jordan Clarkson, balled out. Bass, Larry Nance Jr., Randall, uh, Swaggy P. All those guys played big roles for us, but ball, you know, game ball goes to Marcelo. And like I said, I'm going to always be truthful. You know, Sometimes I get on him, but I'm not going to get on him too much. I know what he can do. And uh, he balled out yesterday. So that's my opinion. What's your opinion of the game? Hit me up in the comments below. Obviously, we know this, these are flukes, right? We play them nine out of the next ten times. We'll probably get blown out by 30 points, right? We know these games are flukes. But what I take away from this was how well Marcelo was handling our team, running our team. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, follow me on Twitter, Mike Sports LA. We'll talk soon, guys. Peace.